All right, so an object with rotational symmetry can be rotated less than a full circle and still exactly line up with itself. Um, so how do you tell if an object has rotational symmetry? Um, well, you can eyeball it if you have a good eye for symmetry. Um, that's one way to tell. Or, um, I, or you could create a shape and rotate it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, here we can determine whether this star has rotational symmetry by making a new star uh, rotating around. Can I rotate it and get it to line up with itself exactly? Um, it's not quite it. And that is not quite it. And there we go. It's exactly lined up with itself. I did a um, 180 degree rotation. And then I can s get back to the starting point. I think. So this would have two-fold symmetry, um, or rotational symmetry of, of order two. So there's two different um, directions it can point, and it's, and it's lined up. Um, so what about this rectangle? Um, all rectangles have two-fold rotational symmetry, because look, I can just whoosh, boom, 180 degree rotation, and it looks exactly like the way I started. Uh, Circles, circles are kind of neat. Actually, um, I could copy the circle, put it on top of the original one. No matter how I rotate it, it, it looks exactly like itself, right? So it has infinite rotational symmetry. Um, but what about if I took something weird looking like Masseratops? Does he have rotational symmetry? Um, is there any angle I can rotate him where he lines up exactly with himself? No. I he doesn't line up exactly with himself until I do a complete circle, complete 360, um, back to where he started. So he does not have rotational symmetry.